Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Libra. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And this month, well, at least as you're starting the month, look, you're still working with that energy of the new moon that took place in your sign late last month. And so we've still got this energy of possibility and new beginnings and a truly healed perspective that is with you in the first few days. As we navigate towards the middle of the month, the energy does change and it becomes a lot more about another person. The focus moves from you and on to how it is that you relate to another. Now, for some people, this is going to play out in terms of love, and I'll talk about that in just a moment. But for others, this is going to work out in terms of business partnerships and alliances that play out there. With this full moon speaking in supreme harmony with Jupiter, it does suggest that there are blessings here. It is possible that through conversation, through negotiation, agreements are reached. However, we've also got some challenging connections with Saturn and Pluto to this full moon as well. And that can make this a particularly emotional time. That can make this a time when Uh, You are looking at whether it's your past or their past and wondering how much it is that this person is meant to be part of your success or your future success. You may be looking at whether or not you have the foundations in place to actually make the most of whatever opportunity it is that they are bringing to you, that they are offering you. Now, however it is that this energy does go forward, understand that full moons are about truth They're about accepting what it is that you really feel about a particular person or a particular situation or a particular opportunity. And then honoring that is going to be part of the lesson of this time. Finding ways to communicate what you're feeling is part of the lessons of this time. And ultimately, it is going to be up to you to decide whether or not a particular connection feels right moving forward from here. As we navigate towards the end of the month, right around the 28th is when we will have this month's new moon. This new moon will be taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with self-esteem and self-worth. And it also is connected to matters that have to do with money that you earn and money that you spend. Now, this new moon is standing across the sky from Uranus. And so that represents uh, new opportunities, new possibilities, new realizations that seem to come out of nowhere and can change everything and often change everything for the better. However, under the same sky, Mercury will be standing still. And on Halloween, Mercury officially goes retrograde in the same part of the sky that this new moon takes place. And what that suggests is that as much as it may feel as if there are new opportunities, whether they're financial, whether they're more personal, it isn't just a moment and that's it and that's the be all end all, but rather there may be some consideration and reconsiderations that are happening right around the same time. There may not necessarily be some sense of you ready to completely go in a new direction. And so whether it is a personal realization or a new opportunity that leaves you to believe that you actually do want to go in a different direction, it may be a little bit more challenging to completely, uh, completely change gear right away. It is also possible that if a new opportunity does come at this time, there may be some key details that might be overlooked that actually could be quite important to your decision as to whether or not this is the right opportunity for you. Now, what that ultimately says is it's important to pace yourself to the best of your ability. Where possible, you may not want to make any huge consequential changes. Of course, you have to trust your life. If a contract shows up and Uh, it's either now or not, and it feels right to you, then it is always up to you to decide what's right for you in light of your unique circumstances. But other ways this energy can manifest is that you think you're signing up for one opportunity and then the role changes and and can change rather quickly. Um, You have a certain expectation of what this is going to turn out to be or what it's going to feel like or what you're going to be asked to do. And then you realize that maybe there were some key things there that you didn't understand 
and there's actually another layer or something else there. If you navigate this time, I'm sure that you will be led in a direction of ultimately affirming something deeper, something more valuable, something that has to do with self-value. I also do want to advise with this energy that if it is that you are looking at some sort of purchase that seems to be a rather important or meaningful if you can try to do that in the early part of the month in the first 10 days of the month before mercury even goes into shadow um, especially if it's something with moving parts especially if it's something related to uh, electronics or technology uh, because it is possible like the ancients well the ancients didn't really have uh, electronics and technology but there has always been some type of technology or another uh, it was Mercury that spoke to moving parts. So the ancients would say anything with moving parts. If you're going to spend money on it, um, that is where you may have to be a little bit mindful. However, if you're spending money on repairs or renovating something, uh, then that can actually work very well in your favor under the sky. Where it comes to matters of love. Let's come right back to that full moon in the middle of the month. It will be very powerful for most Libras where it comes to matters of love because it focuses your attention on another and because it's related to partnership. It is ultimately when you have important lunar energy in your opposite sign that you are encouraged to see yourself differently as reflected in the eyes of another to understand and to learn about yourself more deeply in a way that only partnerships can facilitate. If you're open to meeting someone new, this is one of the, uh, the more prominent symbols that suggests you may connect with somebody now. And it is ultimately about you seeing all the depth of what you feel about where you are in love and why. That beautiful Jupiterian energy says that there's energy here that is healing, that is filled with possibility. Chances are you'll feel like you can talk to this person that much more easily as well, and you may be quite chatty at this time. However, it is that uh, Pluto-Saturn energy that says there may be some very strong feelings, whether it's resistance, whether it's fear, that shows up for you as part of your learning and as part of your navigating forward. For those of you who are just starting to get to know somebody, so if you've just started to date somebody, this energy is going to be very revealing and it can also be very consequential as well. Is this person truly partnership material? There is a lot of hope here, which is great. That's the Jupiter. However, what is it that you're coming to realize about this person, especially what is it that they're telling you about their past? Or what is it that your past has shown you and brought you to this moment? There is going to be some awareness now uh, that will encourage you to look more deeply at this dynamic that you share with this person, at the intentions that are there for you and for them as well. And yeah, I do think that this could be very consequential. It could be very all or nothing where you realize whether or not you are meant to move forward with this person. And for those of you in an established bond, when we have a full moon in your opposite sign, it tends to bring the focus on your partner, whether it is that you just have to spend more time with them or you want to be more present with them. With the energy that is playing out here, uh, it does look like the lines of communication are open. And as long as you're talking things out, just about anything can be worked through and resolved. And that is truly encouraging. However, with that Pluto-Saturn energy, I see that working out a few different ways. Um, one is it could be related to a matter having to do with home. You may have a certain opinion of something that you want, whether it's you want to change or you want to move or you're trying to make something happen in that regard and your partner has a different opinion or a different approach. And that can be part of how you are uh, navigating this time. But another layer of this is asking yourself if you feel like you have that that very fundamental support there, that foundational support there with your partner and where it is that some of that needs to be communicated as to what some of the basic needs that you have. Well, that may be part of the opportunity that presents itself to you now. Is it that you feel like you have a home with them? Do you truly feel safe with them? that could come into focus at this time and where it is that you are not sure or you don't have all those clear answers some of that may come to the surface so that the two of you can address it move through it and find a deeper connection what i love about this month for you well look there's so much here but 
I am going to say that I absolutely love that full moon and the way it's connecting with Jupiter. I know that those connections with Saturn and Pluto are not easy. That is challenging for some people because it's very much about realizing um, the limits and the restrictions and time as well and what there is time for or what it may be time for now and what may need to be put off for another time. And that's not always easy to navigate. However, there's a lot of hope here. There's tangible opportunity here, but there's also happiness. There's friendship and mind level support between you and another. And as long as you are willing to have the conversation, the bond is strengthened. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.